Okay, here's an interesting question. I like this question. Kids who go to school can witness or experience bullying, harassment, or negative criticism from their peers. These types of issues remain to be a reality when kids enter the professional world. How do you prepare your kids for the real world? Well, first I have to say that I don't believe that a school has a monopoly on real world experiences. My kids have experienced bullying uh, amongst themselves. They bully one another. I'm sad to admit this, but it's true. There are times when they bully each other. I have three boys, so it's bound to happen. And uh, my kids have been bullied in Sunday school and uh, active fun. And they've been bullied by their relatives and even friends. So bullying happens everywhere. And how do we prepare them to deal with these things? Well, we, we do what probably most parents would do. Uh, we talk with them and help them process the negative experience in a positive way. We remind them that we need to consider where the other person or the bully is coming from, why they did what they did. And then we encourage our kids to reach out to people who are unkind and to be Christ-like towards them. Now, if it gets to the point where they're actually being physically hurt, well, our kids know Muay Thai. So they can defend themselves if necessary. And we've told them to stick up for one another and look out for each other. Now, what about negative criticism or um, negative experiences in terms of, let's say, people not believing or approving in the same things of the same things that they believe in, or people criticizing their biblical worldview? Well, that's how that this is where as parents we need to be diligent about preparing our kids for the real world in that sense. Not everyone is going to believe the same things that our children believe, or not everyone's going to value the same principles or godly character that we're trying to raise our children to have. And so this is where we need to remind our kids that, you know what, you need to know who you are in Christ, that God loves you, that He has a plan for your life, that no matter what happens, He loves you. So that has to do with their identity. Because if kids tend to get their identity from what other people will say about them, or from the approval of others, then they'll be prone to be discouraged and disheartened when people criticize them or when they get into the real world and it's not all about you're so special and um, you're so good, I'm so proud of you because they're definitely going to encounter people who don't like them. And so they need to know who they are in Christ. And second, they need to understand that God has a purpose for who they are, that they're not you know, in this world just for themselves, they're, they're in this world to make a difference for Jesus. So in order to do that, we teach them God confidence, what it means to really um, go, I mean, not just think about yourself, but remember that you can do all things through, through Christ who strengthens you. So that's in Philippians 4.13. We remind them that, hey, it might be difficult to do this thing. Maybe you're embarrassed to even play an instrument in front of an audience of people, like when they do a recital, but we remind them, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Don't focus on yourself, but focus on what God can do through you. And we, te we encourage them, you know, choose to be a blessing. Because, I mean, it, it, whether you're a kid or you're a parent or an adult, it's hard sometimes not to think about yourself and to be self-conscious. So as a family, we try to practice the principle of choosing to be a blessing. Wherever we go, we, we, we want to think about how can we um, lead others to Christ by our example and by the way we treat one another and we treat others. So think outside of yourself is what we encourage our children to do. And um, hopefully, and Lord willing, these principles will prepare them as they go into the real world someday.